So I have placed these photos. Um, obviously they don't quite fit into the frames, so let's talk about how you can fit your images into frames um, without stretching them. First, let's talk about how you actually get the content of a frame selected. I'm on my selection tool, and when I select in here, notice the frame is highlighted, that blue frame. That means I can move the frame. I'm not actually moving the image inside the frame, I'm just moving the frame. To access the contents of the frame, the easiest way is to select this little circle you see in the middle. And notice now I have a brown frame around that image and I can move it. So that's the first tip. Make sure that you have the innards, the actual material you would like to work with selected, not the blue frame. So once you see that brown selection tool, you can begin scaling your photo. To correctly scale a photo, you want to hold Shift and Command and use the corners. And sometimes once you get that scaled up, you might need to move it around. To do that, let go of your mouse first, then your keys, then you can move it. Notice I didn't click the circle again because I still have my brown frame. And so let's say that I'm satisfied with that look. I'm going to deselect by clicking outside, move on to my next image. Again, clicking that circle in the middle so I get the brown. Shift and Command. And notice on this one I'm working from both sides to scale this down. And I'm going to let go of my mouse and then my keys. For this photo I just wanted to show you another way you can scale and that is by using the percent up here. So let's say I'm just going to guess and say I want this to be 80% and you can see that starts to scale it down. And I might need to come in here and move that. Now let's say I haven't been paying attention and I didn't hold down any of my keys and I have this look where it's obviously a stretched photo. I can tell that up here in that same location. These numbers should always be the same. If they aren't, that means the photo is stretched. Now this one is pretty obvious. Oftentimes it will not be obvious. So this is a little harder to tell. How you fix that is, again, make sure you have your image selected, not your frame. Go up here, and I just kind of pick a number between the two. So for this one, I'm going to say 38%. Hit return and now that image is no longer stretched. As you get used to the keyboard shortcuts, it might be a wise idea to just double check that number to make sure you haven't stretched it. Again, hold your Shift and Command key down. And just keep working until you get that scaled down. Let go of your mouse, then your keys, and then you have correctly resized your image.